Hello and welcome back to Music Thoughts Online. We've got five songs again this week, so let's find out what they are. Here's our first one. It's head, shoulders, knees and toes. Now you can stand up for this one or you can sit down like me. Are you ready? Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Fantastic. What's our next song going to be? Let's find out. It's Humpty Dumpty. Can you get your wall and put your egg on it? Put Humpty on it. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Poor Humpty Dumpty. I wonder what our next song is. It's those marching ants. Can you start with two ants marching? The ants were marching two by two, hurrah, hurrah. The ants were marching two by two, hurrah, hurrah. The ants went marching two by two, the little one stopped to tie his shoe. And they all went marching across the floor, under the door, out in the rain. Zoom, zoom, zoom. The ants went marching three by three, hurrah, hurrah. The ants went marching three by three, hurrah, hurrah. The ants went marching three by three, the little one stopped to climb a tree. And they all went marching across the floor, under the door, out in the rain. Zoom, zoom, zoom. The ants went marching four by four, hurrah, hurrah. The ants went marching four by four, hurrah, hurrah. The ants went marching four by four, the little one stopped to knock on the door. And they all went marching across the floor, under the door, out in the rain. Zoom, zoom, zoom. The ants went marching five by five, hurrah, hurrah. The ants went marching five by five, hurrah, hurrah. The ants went marching five by five, the little one stopped to do a jive. And they all went marching across the floor, under the door, out in the rain. Zoom, zoom, zoom. What's our next song going to be? Shall we find out? It's Wiggly Way. Can you get your wiggly worms? There's a worm at the bottom of my garden. And his name is Wiggly Woo. There's a worm at the bottom of my garden, and all that he can do is wiggle all day and wiggle all night. He wiggles to the left and he wiggles to the right. There's a worm at the bottom of my garden, and his name is Wiggly Wig, Wig, Wiggly Wig, Wig, Wiggly Woo, Woo, Woo. One more song for you, shall we find out what it is? It's our five little men in the flying saucer. Can you get five little men? Five little men in a flying saucer flew round the world one day. They looked left and right, but they didn't like the sight, so one man flew away. Whoosh! Four little men in a flying saucer flew round the world one day. They looked left and right, but they didn't like the sight, so one man flew away. Whoosh! Three little men in a flying saucer Flew round the world one day. They looked left and right, but they didn't like the sight, so one man flew away. Whoosh! Two little men in a flying saucer flew round the world one day. 
They looked left and right, but they didn't like the sight, so one man flew away. Whoosh! One little man in a flying saucer flew round the world one day. He looked left and right, but he didn't like the sight, so that man flew away. Whoosh! No more little men in our flying saucer. Okay, I'm going to go over to story time now. We'll find out where we are in our Christmas story. I'll see you there in a few minutes. Okay, here we are in story time. As you can probably see, we've got an advent calendar up today. We're going to use that to find out what the next part of our story is. So today is the 4th of December. So we're going to find number four. Here it is. We're going to open it. Can you see what that is? It's a manger. So I wonder what our story could be about today. Let's just pop that back up. So our story today is all about the birth of Jesus. So Mary was due to have her baby any day now. So she was probably quite big in her belly. And the emperor decided I want to count every person. I want to know how many people are under my control. So every man must go back to the town they were born with their family. Now Mary and Joseph lived in a little town called Nazareth. Joseph wasn't born there. He was born in the town of Bethlehem. And that meant that Mary and Joseph had to travel from their house in Nazareth all the way to Bethlehem. And they didn't have cars, so they had to walk. They probably had a donkey, but we don't know that. And if they did, it would have carried their bags and things probably. It may have carried Mary, but we don't know. Mary and Joseph had to travel, had to walk from their home all the way to Bethlehem. And that would have taken days, lots of walking, lots of travelling, such a long time to get there. Now, if you or I were to go on holiday, well, I would make a phone call or send an email or something to the hotel or the caravan park or the campsite, wherever I was staying, to book in to make sure I'd got somewhere to stay. But back then we didn't have phones, we didn't have emails. So you pretty much had to show up and hope. And when Mary and Joseph got to Bethlehem, they knocked on every indoor Every innkeeper said, I'm sorry, I've got no room left. There's nothing I can do. And then they came to the last inn. And they knocked on their doors and they said, please, can you give us anything? And the innkeeper said, well, I don't have a room. But I can see. Your wife is going to have a baby and it looks like she's going to have one pretty soon. So I don't have a room. I don't have a bed. But there is space with the animals in the back. It's cold. But it would be better than sleeping on the streets. If you want it, it's yours. So that's what they did. Mary and Joseph went to stay with the animals. And that night, with the animals all round, in what was probably a smelly stable, 
Mary's baby was born. Now, of course, they didn't have a cot, so they had to lay him in the manger, which is the, the trough that the animals eat from. They filled it with fresh hay and laid the baby in the manger. Mary and Joseph named him Jesus because that's what the angel had told them to name the baby. And that is how the birth of Jesus happened. And that is why we celebrate Christmas now. And we'll learn a bit more about it in the next couple of weeks. But until then, I'm going to go over to our craft time and we are going to make a glitter globe. See you over there in a minute. Okay, here we are at craft time. And as I said, we're going to be making a glitter globe. So what you need is a glass jar, nice and clean, and the label taken off it. We need a Christmas picture. Now you can draw this, draw a picture, or you can you do what I've done and use one from an old Christmas card. You can you need some cello tape to put the picture on. You need some water, and if you've got some, you need some glitter. If not, you can use sequins or you can see if you can get some glitter, anything that would mix nicely with the water. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the picture, we're going to stick it to the outside of the glass jar. We're going to use the cello tape for this. It's a nice sound, isn't it? My cello tape. We need to put sellotape all the way around the picture. So I'm going to start at the top and put my picture onto the jar. And you can see I'm folding it right onto it. Okay. I'm going to put some sellotape at the bottom of that as well. There we go. Again, folding it right onto the jar. And some cell tape at the sides. Your picture might crease up a little bit at the bottom or at the sides, that's okay, as long as you make sure it's stuck on nicely. It's stuck all the way around. Now you probably can't see the picture very well at the moment, but I'm hoping when we put the water into the jar, you'll be able to see it a bit better. So that's actually our next step. I'm going to undo the lid at the top and pour some water into the jar. Something's just fallen off my lid, but that's okay. I'm going to pour the water into the jar and fill it up as much as I can. That's something that's just fallen in, it's floating right to the top, so hopefully I'll be able to get it. Not oh, missed. There we go. Okay, there we go. So, next thing we're going to do then, is we're going to put some glitter in. Now, I have three colours of glitter here. You can use as much or as little as you want. I'm going to use just the green, I think. I'm just going to take the lid off and put, let's pour some glitter in just at the top. There we go. I mean, you probably can't see very well, but the glitter is floating at the top of the jar at the moment. And put the lid on, making sure it's on tight. And when you've finished it, you can glue the lid on. That will make absolutely sure. And then I'm just going to shake it up a bit. There we go, and there's the glitter going around my Christmas picture. There I have it. I have a lovely glitter globe for Christmas. And that's our Christmas music tots for today. I hope you can join me next week when we'll learn even more about the Christmas story. I'll see you then.